Hey there, it's Kristen from Printable Cuttable Creatables. I've had a few people ask me how to create a dashed score line in Cricut Design Space that will actually cut the dashes instead of score them. And let me just explain what I mean by that. So if you find a card design in Cricut Design Space that you like and open it up in your canvas, you might see something like this where you have your card shape and then you have a dashed line in the middle. Now this line looks like it's dashed, but this is actually Cricut's way of signifying that a line is going to score. So if I come over to the layers panel on the right, I can see that this line here is actually set to score. I can also see in the operation menu here that this line is set to score. If I change this setting from score to basic cut, now we can see that the dashes are gone and this is actually just a solid line and that's what it was all along. So those dashes were never there. It's just more of a symbolic way for design space to show you, hey, this is a score line. Some people prefer to have their machines cut along those dashed score lines because either their scoring stylus isn't getting a deep enough score or for whatever reason, that's their preference. So to create a dashed score line that will cut in design space, it's not the easiest thing. It's a little bit tedious, but it's not terrible if all you need is a straight line for a basic card. So I'm gonna go ahead and show how to do that. So first I'm just going to detach the score line and then I'll delete it. So I'm just left with my basic card shape. And then I'm gonna come over to the shape menu on the left and I'm gonna choose the first option here, which is, it says it's a score line. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna put this line on the canvas. And if I click off of it, we can see this is the dashed score line. If I select this line, I can see it is set to score. So once again, I'm gonna go and change this to basic cut. And now it's become a solid line. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna shrink it down to about a quarter inch tall. So I just entered 0.25 in the height menu here. So now I have a solid line that is a quarter inch tall and I'm gonna select this line and I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift as I click and drag about a quarter inch down. So I left about a quarter inch space between the first line and the second line. And then I'm going to select both of those. I'll hold Alt and Shift again. And the Shift key basically makes sure that your dashes stay aligned with each other. And then I'm gonna select all of these lines and do it again. So I'll press Alt and Shift and make another copy. And then I'll do the same thing again, Alt and Shift and make another copy. So I probably won't need this last one at the bottom. And then I'm gonna select all of those lines and I'll click attach. And that keeps them together as a single unit. So now I can place them onto my card and I'm gonna select the card shape and the score lines. And I'm just gonna make sure that they are center aligned horizontally and center aligned vertically. And then I can uh, keep everything selected and click attach. And that's going to make sure that everything cuts in the correct placement when I click make it. So now we can see that each one of these is a separate cut line and this is all going to cut. So when I click make it, this is all going to cut. This just says basic cut. It does not say score anywhere. So you won't be prompted to use your scoring tool or scoring wheel. So that's it. If you have a file where you want to have the score line follow a curved path, or if you need a lot of score lines for a 3D file, like a box or something like that, unfortunately, there's not really a way to do that in design space. So you really want to use a vector design program like Adobe Illustrator to create your score lines for something more complicated. But for a basic card, this works. I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.